the symmetry group of Bessy sequences of order 8. Preliminaries 1. A permutation that preserves or inverts Bessy sequences is called a Bessy permutation. In any physical shuffle of a packet of playing cards that yields this permutation of the cards is called a Bessy shuffle. 2. For ease of nomenclature, I will use permutation and shuffle interchangeably. 3. The set of all Bessie shuffles of order n form a group under composition. 4. This group is called the group of symmetries for Bessie sequences of order n or the symmetry group of Bessie sequences of order n. In what follows, we will consider the question, what is the group structure for all Bessie shuffles of order 8? In other words, what is the symmetry group structure for Bessie sequences of order 8? Analyses. How many permutations preserve or invert Bessie sequences of order 8? And the inversion just means the zeros and ones switch places. Viewing the four ones as equivalent but distinguishable and the four zeros as equivalent but distinguishable, we obtain the following total number of distinct permutations that preserve or invert the above sequence structure. And that total comes out to be 1,152. Number two, because of the above, the cardinality of the group of symmetries that either preserve or invert Bessie sequences of order eight is 1,152. Number three, fortuitously, among the shuffles already presented on the hidden structures channel, that either preserve or invert Bessie sequences of order 8, we find several minimal generating sets for all 1,152 elements in the symmetry group of Bessie sequences of order 8. As an important aside, please recall that since many of the systematic shuffles utilized today in card games and or card magic, are Bessie shuffles, they cannot be combined in any quantity or any order that will truly randomize a packet of N playing cards, if indeed Bessie sequences of order N exist. Furthermore, my standing conjecture is that Bessie shuffling of such sequences can pass most, if not all, modern tests of randomization, even though we can clearly prove that true randomization is impossible. Number four. Rather surprisingly, there is one shuffle among those presented on the hidden structures channel that is a required member of any generating set for the symmetry group of Bessy sequences of order 8. This special shuffle is the Australian down under shuffle. Number 5. Here I provide a partial list of minimal sets of shuffles that generate all 1,152 symmetries of Bessie sequences of order 8. The first one is a 50% cutting of the cards together with the Australian down under. The second one is a 50% coating of the cards together with the Australian down under. The third one is a packet reversal together with the Australian down under. The fourth one is an even up jog in which the even position cards are stacked on top of the odd position cards together with the Australian down under shuffle. And finally, five, the pharaoh in shuffle 
together with the Australian Down Under Shuffle. Another generating set that includes our familiar LR Shuffles is the following. So it consists of the LR Shuffle, in which we stack the left pile on top of the right, together with the LR Shuffle, in which we stack the right pile on top of the left, along with the Australian Down Under Shuffle. Although this generating set is not minimal, it does consist of independent generators, since none of them can be removed and still generate the symmetry group of Bessie sequences of order 8. Because of the ubiquity of LR shuffles, I think it is wonderful that they, along with the Australian Down Under Shuffle, generate the entire group of symmetries for Bessie sequences of order 8. Number 6. According to GAP, a computational discrete algebra system, the group of symmetries that preserve or invert Bessie sequences of order 8 is isomorphic to the following group structure, where the colon denotes a semi-direct product. An A sub 4 is the alternating group on four letters, and Z4 and Z2 are cyclic groups of order 4 and 2, respectively. Number 7. Perhaps of interest, the many shuffles that preserve or invert Bessie sequences of order 8 are not only members of this symmetry group, but each of them individually can be written as a product of the composition of the shuffles within each of the six generating sets above. Number eight, a case in point is the factorization of the Klondike shuffle in terms of the members of these generating sets. The Klondike Shuffle K can be written as the following composition of a 50% cutting of the cards and an Australian down under. And here is the factorization of the Klondike Shuffle in terms of the members of this minimal generating set, where the product is read from left to right and the shuffles are performed from left to right. B. The Klondike Shuffle K can be written as the following combination of a 50% coding of the cards and an Australian down under. Here is the factorization for K in terms of this generating set. Fascinating observation. The factorizations of the Klondike Shuffle in terms of the shuffles in generating sets 1 and 2 above are identical except, of course, for an exchange of the 50% cut for the 50% coding. Very, very curious. C. The Klondike Shuffle K can be written as the following combination of a packet reversal and an Australian Down Under Shuffle. D. The Klondike Shuffle can be written as the following combination of an even up jog in which the even position cards are stacked on top of the odd position cards along with the Australian Down Under Shuffle. And why don't we take a moment to point out the exact actions a person would need to go through to verify the equivalence of these two shuffles. Okay, so here we have the Klondike Shuffle. So what a person could do is choose, let's say, Ace of Clubs through the Eight of Clubs, perform the Klondike Shuffle, and lay out that result, and then take the cards Ace of Hearts through the Eight of Hearts, and perform the following. Perform a Down Under Shuffle, and then perform an Even Up Jog, in which the even position cards are stacked on top of the odd position cards, followed by an Australian shuffle, and then perform that pair one more time. An even up jog, followed by an Australian shuffle. Once all of that is complete, perform one Australian shuffle, 
and then perform two even up jogs. The ordering of the cards after these eight shuffling steps have been completed will be identical to the ordering obtained by a single Klondike shuffle on an ordered packet of eight cards. So that's something you can easily verify. E. The Klondike shuffle can be written as the following composition of a Pharaoh in shuffle and an Australian down under shuffle. And I should point out that the Pharaoh out shuffle will not work as a member of a minimal generating set for the symmetry group of Bessie sequences of order eight. It actually must be a Pharaoh in shuffle, which is quite curious, together with, of course, an Australian down under shuffle. And here is the factorization of those two shuffles that will give you the precise ordering that the Klondike shuffle produces. F. Out of curiosity, I include the factorization of the Klondike shuffle in terms of an LR shuffle in which we stack the left pile on top of the right, and we will abbreviate that by the letter L, and an LR shuffle in which the right pile is stacked on top of the left, and we will abbreviate that by the letter R. And of course, we'll need the Australian down under shuffle, and as always, it will be abbreviated by the letter A. So here is the factorization of the Klondike shuffle in terms of the LR shuffle in which either the left or right pile is stacked on top of the other according to the agreed assignments up above. Nine, again I wish to emphasize an important consequence of our analysis. Any shuffle that preserves or inverts Bessie sequences of order eight has a representation as some combination of products of the two or three permutations listed within each of the six generating sets given earlier. Number 10. This is perhaps more of an aside, but I found it interesting that the total number of permutations of eight cards is 35 times the number of Bessie shuffles of order eight. Therefore, given a random permutation of eight cards, there is a 1 out of 35 or approximately 3% chance that this permutation is indeed a Bessie permutation. And here below, I simply have the calculations that support that statement.